It's common knowledge that cleaning your hands, otherwise known as practicing good hand hygiene, can stop the spread of germs. But, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, some healthcare providers clean their hands less than half the times they should. Let's take a look at the who, what, where, when, why, and how of good hand hygiene so that we can all do our part to keep patients and loved ones safe. Anyone can come in contact with harmful germs anywhere they go. Everyone, from the smallest child to the oldest adult, should practice hand hygiene regularly. Hand hygiene is the thorough cleaning of your hands to rid them of harmful germs. Hand washing and alcohol-based hand sanitizer are the two recommended methods, depending on the situation. Good hand hygiene practices are necessary in all healthcare settings, from long-term care, to acute care, to community and corporate practices. Make sure you have access to hand hygiene products at all points of care. Healthcare providers should clean their hands at multiple points during care using these guidelines from the CDC. Use an alcohol-based sanitizer right before touching a patient, before performing an aseptic task, before moving from work on a soiled body site to a clean body site, after touching a patient or the patient's immediate environment, after contact with body fluids or contaminated surfaces, and immediately after glove removal. Wash with soap and water when hands are visibly soiled and after caring for someone with C. difficile. Practicing hand hygiene is the easiest way to stop the spread of germs. This keeps everyone under your care safer. When using alcohol-based hand sanitizer, put product on hands and rub together until hands feel dry. Make sure all surfaces of your hands are covered. When washing with soap and water, wet your hands with water, apply soap, and rub hands together vigorously for at least 15 seconds. Rinse hands with water and use a disposable towel to dry them. Use the towel to turn off the faucet. Be sure to clean the three areas most often missed, thumbs, fingertips, and between fingers. Practicing good hand hygiene is simple, effective, and can keep your patients safe, even from antibiotic-resistant germs. Follow these guidelines to keep your patients, your loved ones, and yourself safe from illness.